Hello everyone, my name is Nassar Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play Pit Murder, the house in your door. Beldum? Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Maru character. Well, yes, yeah, sir, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. I do understand that x must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> well, that's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Oh, uh, good. Hmm. Not much dialogue from uh, Grotus this time. Hmm. I would better. I'm officially bored. All those awful x knots haven't been back to ask with the map. I wonder if it's... Is it safe? Oh my, that must be tech again. Well, let's go see the little guy. Or, not really little, but let's go see the guy. Tech again. And let's see what he has up us to say here. Notice again. <clears throat> Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. Would you like to go over Sir Grotus and ask him something? What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I'm unable to know things that are not entered in my central processing unit or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But, even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to my room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it with avoiding detection. You'll go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean he'll be disguised? Imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine. I guess. Well, so what? Do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Okay, then. Oh, is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? Alright. Going up the elevator, up the elevator. Huh? Oh, Princess Peach, it's the room with the green lamp near where you disembarked this elevator. Uh, okay, this one. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Um, I believe it's. Yeah, this one here. Hmm. Oh, this is the uniform. Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. And once again, we have another one of these scenes. <laughs> Much like the shower scene. Uh, oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Phew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Yeah, we're playing as a friggin'. <laughs> oh, God. Now we're playing as a friggin' X Knot, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever regularly. Uh, these guys here, if we can actually see them. Uh, these guys are. Dark X knots. They're we're gonna be fighting later on as with uh, these guys here, which are both these guys are both stronger variations of X knots that we'll be fighting later on. Um, if you want to know why I ended up taking the week off, it's because I ended up getting a really stupid cold, which uh, I'll explain this probably a bit later on. Excuse me, Sir Grotus. Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with? her going forward. Hmm? 
something is wrong with your voice acts not perhaps I, perhaps I have a throat loan no well never mind oh but princess peach I have no interest with that what that woman has to say just keep her locked in the room don't ever ever treat her roughly you understand tell the others as well but uh why in the world are we keeping her here then that is none of your business don't forget your place you impudent worm concentrate on getting the legendary treasure that is all i require of you the axonauts need to treasure and conquer the world don't forget it conquer the world legendary treasure what are you blathering about now hmm something is odd about you N no nothing odd uh so roger whatever please excuse me uh, that was unnerving all this stuff about conquering the world talk about creepy i wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars so I guess anyways, as I'm cha uh, talking about this, I ended up getting a cold this past week, and it was kind of an, it was kind of bad, and I just decided that it would be safer to take the week off, as annoying as that really was, but yeah, I did that, I just, it just trust me, it was probably the best thing I could have done. Tech, you're a terrible machine, so your goal is to conquer the world, isn't it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. No one likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the Crystal Stars help you conquer the world, and what is this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Ah, oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow you that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. You've got mail! Okay then. <clears throat> Good night, Princess Peach. Now let's cut to the Bowser and the Lube. Which we all know these are pretty funny. Last time's was really funny. I hope that. I can't remember what the one for this one is, but I might get a, ref a slight refresher. Oh yeah, I kind of remember this one. <laughs> Th that thing's humongous. Everybody hide. Hide now. Save yourselves. Stupid cheating Mario. Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Did it say something in rudeness? Uh, no. Nothing at all. As far as you know. Hey, did you see those little butt-sized uh, shrimps? What are those things? Those are some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them and get this information. Yeah, yeah, cause this guy's big and bad. He's already in charge. <laughs> Eek! You're scary, Mister Giant bra Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petunia. Your big brother is you. Will we'll get through this. <laughs> oh God! Eek! Flee! <laughs> oh God! Fortunately, you can't burn these brush uh, bushes. Uh, we can't go through these doors, or obviously in the warp pipe either. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? You're one of the evildoers. You want a crystal star? Ah, see? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I'm the great puny elder. Yeah, my heart. Don't star me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Okay, I love this. You're both too old. It's Hag versus Hag. Awesome! <laughs> Uh, yes, Lord Bowser, but yours if you're just about to say something. <laughs> uh, no, nothing. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? You elder hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. You'll answer not... Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm, hag thing. 
I see it in, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Huh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustache man named Martio, who was collecting the legendary treasure to rescue some princess. What did you call her, Princess Pinch? Yep. He was off to save that lucky loss. It's Mario, not Mario, and it's pr not Princess Pinch. Your name is Princess Peach. But you senility is beside the point. The princess and the treasures must be connected. Mario is trying to get it all. The treasures, princesses, does his greed ever hint? <laughs> that jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To me! If I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all. I swear it! Oh, God. I just love that cutscene for the It's Hag versus Hag awesome line. <laughs> oh, God. That's like... At least every Bowser cutscene has to have one hilarious line in it. That being this chapter's hilarious line. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't ever gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights and take some vitamins and win the title fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met, and if you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyways, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Basically, you can redo all the all the chapter minus the... Basically, at this point, you can redo the whole chapter if you want. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Sweet, another crystal star, right? That's three, right? Well, we better roll back into rope port, don't you think? Okay, anyways... Um, you can redo the chapter if you want. You don't have to do any of the stupid thing shenanigans for X anymore, because Grubba's defeated and we have the Crystal Star. But, <clears throat> you can redo it up until you go back. So if you check your... I said check my gear. Uh, we don't have the Champion's Belt anymore. I'll probably be doing that sometime off camera, but not now. Anyways, let's head back to Roadport, I guess. I'm gonna hope that I locked out here because there is something that I'm real that is kind of lock based that I want to get because it's a really 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 good badge that I want to buy I for a, but it's a lot of money and it's only available from that guy who has um who I bought the W emblem for or from I mean so flying back on a cheap cheap experience we never thought we'd see again. Okay, then let's add on in this warp pipe and. So, yeah, um, what did I do in my week? Uh, I've been replaying Pikmin 2 a lot. I've also. Uh, I had my stream last night at the time. I'm recording this on Sunday night. Me and Alex did a, a stream last night. Ooh, mail. Gonzalez, you got an email. You got mail. <laughs> Dearest Mario, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the Axonauts are planning to take control of the world. It's to the end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must get all of them. I'll gather what information I can. Princess Peach, those dudes want to rule the world. That would stink. Hmm. I sure would, Piccolo. And hey, Luigi's here. Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at the Plum Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really want my hands on the dude looking at that one. I'll tell you what, it's pretty well, bro. No, let's get the... Cherry Bomb guy has to say, I'm Jerry, I'm a Bob Bomb from Plum Billy Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, sounds so down, but you would be saw Luigi dressed as a brat. <laughs> I'm serious, it scared me. It was honestly scarier than the. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> At this point, I want to read that story to find out what happens next. Because that is seriously just too funny. Either way, though, let's hope I got lucky here. Yes, I did! Jumpman! This is the a badge that I really wanted to buy. Jumpman negates your hammer, but makes your jump even stronger. 
AKA, it's a great badge. And I have a lot of star points now, I think. Uh, your star pieces, I mean. So, speaking of star pieces, I'm gonna go to the Sea Dazzle and see what I can trade in it for 10 star our pieces. And, well, I guess we're down here, we kinda have to do go down to the Thousand Year Door anyways. I don't know if there's anything with Yoshi we can get here in the area, but I, def I do know there is something with the Super Hammer that we can get. Momentarily, anyways. Okay, we can buy Chilla, which is pretty good. Um... I already have Flower Saver Partner, that's kind of the badge I wanted to buy. Uh, quick Change is available here. By the way, I missed a Quick Change badge in the original Paper Mario, because I actually didn't even know about this, and it was actually one of the easiest badges to get. You just have to do a spin jump in Merlin's house in the first game, and you're able to get the Quick Change badge. Um, how many pretty lucky badges do I have? I think I have, like, three to equipped already. No, I have one. Um... I don't think I really need a second one yet. I might buy that later on in the game, but for now, uh, I have I could either do Quick Change or Peekaboo. I'll buy Peekaboo, and uh, I could also buy Chillo, I guess, but I don't really want to. I kind I like Peekaboo a lot. It's a efficient badge. Uh. Okay, anyways, I guess here's where the first part I can go to is, uh, the new area. Ahem, <clears throat> now that I have the super hammer, I can break that. Get this shine spurt that's up here. Yahoo! Oh god, nostalgia back to Mario Sunshine. And my Mario Sunshine Let's Play too, because that was, that was a, a good Let's Play I did. I know, self-advertisement self aside, like, if you want another one of my... It wasn't my favorite Let's Play in the world, don't get me wrong, but... My Let's Play Mario Sunshine, I thought I did a pretty decent job, and... Look here, we have a stone block, which we... Can't break yet. Uh, believe it or not, we're not gonna be able to break that for quite a couple chapters at this point, believe me. We're gonna have to wait for, until post-chapter 6 in order to get that, as tough as that is to believe. However, we can get something here. A shortcut, and there's a star piece here, too. <clears throat> forgot, totally forgot about that. But if you head in here, you can head in. And I, I'm pretty sure that there... I'm pretty sure I must have gotten this before, because... Yeah, okay, I definitely got that before. I wasn't sure, because I thought I was, was having a hard time finding that star piece for a lot of the time there. Yeah, there is a star piece there. And there we go, there's the next crystal star in place, and it's going to record our next spot on the magical map. I don't know why, I don't, I don't really ever get tired of seeing this, even though I see it like all the damn time, seriously. <coughs> uh, geez, sir. And it's going to appear in a small little village, and... Oh boy, that's a tall area. Location of the crystal stars being recorded on your magical map. Hey, that shows what the fourth crystal stars. Can't that frankly guy read it? That's being cool, but you better tell him what Prince Peach email said, right? What? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on world total, total world conquest. Uh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed on what I've been researching. What this treasure could be. The book I came across held what I thought was a preposterous theory. The book claimed the treasure was actually a, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank the town underground. 
So these jerks think the power of that cataclysm can help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do, or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have become to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do... we we'll get it. Then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Prof. We have to find that next crystal star super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears in the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? So are there going to be vampires there? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. God, I hate friggin' Twilight series. Oh my god. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about this place myself. Only rumors. I've heard that it's an even place. It's perpetually dim and eerie, though. Wait, just a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere in Roadport. I believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of the town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, come back and see me, okay? Under the ground in the west part of the town? Check! Gotcha, Professor. Come on, Gonzales. Let's do that. And really quickly, let's check here. We can find a title log of Macho Grubba. And I believe there's, like, one other area I can go to really quickly. Now that I actually have Yoshi. So I guess Yoshi does have a practical use outside of this area area here. If you use Yoshi and fail at a hit using him, as you see over there, there is a shine spray. This jump's kind of awkward to make. I suck at making it, though. Oh, uh, God. Come on, now. What the hell are you supposed to do? Okay, like that. That's fine there. Uh, get up here and get this shine spray. You could also just... I think you can fall down from the roof, can't you? Uh, it doesn't look like it, actually. But... Yeah, it isn't hard. You can also get on the roof, too, and I think you can get another shine spray that way, but... And that star piece, but at this point, I don't really want to do that, because... We'll be going there in the post for the prior to Chapter 5, anyways. So, here anyway, we have an email. Looks like I have more mail. <clears throat> so I guess we'll head off to uh, Twilight Town and end off this video here. Uh, what's this guy have? Um, must be something new in here. Or... Guess not. <laughs> Very, anyway, you can find Luigi's diaries in there, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'll check to see what this guy is now, again. Uh, you can buy a boost sheet, which is pretty much makes you invisible. Uh, this guy also sells the Slogo badge in this game, which was regularly a really friggin' obscure secret in the original Paper Mario that not a whole lot of people noticed, knew actually. I was surprised when I first saw the, like, <clears throat> when, like, a bunch of people thought it was, like, they were surprised that I was able to find the that secret in the first Paper Mario game, but, yeah. Anyways, there's another shine spread here, there's a stone block there. Unfortunately, because of the size, despite the size, we still can't break stone blocks. If this is the first Paper Mario game, that wouldn't be a major issue at all, because we could break them in that game. And... Twilight Town, Archer. WTF? Pipe rejected you. Okay, that's kind of strange. Uh, let's find the war pipe here before we get into a stupid battle. And let's go back and see Franklin and see what the hell's wrong with this war pipe. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid we have the foggiest idea what we should do. Oh, of course! I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Roadport. If anyone knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, yes, the lover of dark places. Darkly! I've seen him loitering around this part of the town in the past. Look for Darkly. Okay, then. Anyways, if you headed back here. Hello there. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it on the seat of your overalls. Okay, Mario. 
<laughs> oh my god. What's your name? Piccolo, baby. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. <laughs> oh god, this that's so friggin' suggestive. I think there might be a star piece back here. I could Yep. I thought there was anyways. I'm not really trying to go for all the star pieces in the game. I never really have been. There's, I don't think there is a hundred in total. <clears throat> I could have had a lot more at this point if I actually tried, but I didn't. I'm not really trying for them. Cause there's like a lot of places where you need to use the spin jump in certain places, and it requires a lot of backtracking. Like there's one where you have to use the spin jump in Flora's house. One where you have to use it in one of the cells in Hookbill's castle. Or, um, Hooktail's Castle, I mean, I'm thinking of the boss in Yoshi's Island here, and such. But anyways, we got to Twilight, you're pretty much almost at Twilight Town. Next time I pay Mario the Thousand Year Door, we'll start up the chapter. See you guys then!